Today in Universe Sandbox, we're going to be turning Saturn into a ringed paradise, hopefully. And we're also going to terraform its moons, too. Hello, everybody. My name's Calvin, and welcome back to Universe Sandbox. So we're going to pull up Saturn. Okay, so I just pulled up Saturn here and made sure all of its moons are turned on. And you can see we have already terraformed Titan. Check that video out if you haven't. But for this one, we're going to do Saturn. And then I think we're going to do Rhea and Enceladus because those are its other two major moons. Okay, so to start on Saturn, I think what I might actually do is terraform it by itself and then bring it back into the system so it doesn't mess with all these moons. And I want the rings to stay intact if we can. So here is Saturn all by itself, no moons, no rings. So this should make it easier to terraform. So, and we do need the mass to stay pretty close to the same so we can see it's at 0.299 Jupiters. We have to keep it the same so all the moons and rings stay in orbit well. We're gonna try to terraform as much as we can without changing its properties. We have to add an atmosphere in here once it goes rocky. But before then, what we can do is go into tools and actually go into material and we can add some of our own silicate and stuff and iron to it. So we're gonna add a good amount in here. So let's just open up its composition while we do this so we can watch it. So basically we're trying to build a core inside of it so that when we burn off all of the hydrogen, it has something left. Ooh, okay, that's starting to work. So now you can see on the inside, there's a pretty good core. Uh, let's do a little bit more silicate. Okay, so now that we have a good core inside of it, let's go to tools and laser. And we should be able to use a really powerful laser to burn off the hydrogen. Okay, this is working now. Burning off the hydrogen. You can see it's going down. Three, two, one. A little more, a little more. Okay, boom. 0% hydrogen. So it looks like we burned off all the silicate too, but now we're just left with a really big ball of iron, it looks like. So let's cool it down now. Let's just use the cold laser. Okay, I'm trying to, it looks like it's shrinking. Its density is going up, that's what's happening because the iron is trying to become more dense. And we're just trying to cool it down here. And then we're gonna have to add more mass because it's so small. So let's go back into material and add some silicate. We make the particles go slower. Okay, the heat is making the radius increase. So we should just be able to add some of this until we can get it back to the size it was. Okay, it looks like we went a little bit over, but that should be okay. So now we just gotta wait for it to cool down. I'm gonna use the cold laser again. Okay, here we go, cooling it down. Okay, um, and then we can just clear these particles. Okay, so now we're just left with like this black ball. Let's add some water to it. So now we go to tools and material and then go to water just put some water on the surface there so i don't really like how it's settling like this it's like glitched almost so i'm actually going to go into planet scaping and we can kind of draw our own elevation so i'm just gonna set it all to whatever elevation this is and then we can kind of just draw it so it's all ocean and then we can draw our own continents on top of that so we can cover it all in water Okay, now that it's covered all in water, we can go to add and we could sort of draw our own continents on it. Yes. Okay, I kind of like the way that's looking. Um, so now what we can do is go to visuals and we can set the colors of our land. Okay, um, and we'll add vegetation too. So those will be like vegetated islands. Um, and I wanna add a north and south pole. So let's go back to planetscaping and add some ice. Okay, now let's add an atmosphere to it. Okay, atmosphere. Ooh, okay, here we go. Um, and let's adjust the visuals on it. Perfect, that's looking pretty good. And we're gonna need to add some more atmosphere layers so that it stays heated all the way out here, far away from the sun. So we'll see how that goes. Oh, it looks like it's rotating sideways. Whoa, that's kind of cool. What, is this like volcanic activity happening? I'm not sure. Most of the planet's pretty good temperature. It looks like those spots are really hot for some reason. But it looks like the average temperature is pretty good. Um, let's check our habitability on it. 5.15, I'll take that because it's very hard to get life on. This was a gas giant, so. And let's add some city lights. So if we turn on realistic light, oh yeah, there we go. So you can see some city lights here and it looks like we have volcanoes on it or something. 
but there we go okay we're gonna name it super saturn and now let's put it back in that other simulation all right so here it is now in its system super saturn in the middle it's got its rings the rings kind of are tilted too like the planet and then all of saturn's moons with our terraform titan so and now we're gonna terraform rhea and enceladus so to terraform rhea it shouldn't be too bad i'm not gonna worry about doing all of the fancy stuff I'm just gonna adjust some of the settings because I don't wanna throw them out of orbit. So we're just gonna go to surface and then add some water to it and add some hydrogen too so that water stays on the surface. Ooh, that looks cool. And then we're gonna add an atmosphere. Add some vegetation to it too. Add a lot of atmosphere layers. And then make sure the temperature is going to be good and check the habitability now we got 13.5 so that's pretty good we'll add city lights on it too so if we go to realistic lighting there we go we got city lights we're going to name it ria 2 and give it a good interface color okay ria 2 is now habitable and let's do enceladus also so enceladus actually does have water on it already so we're going to keep the water we're just going to melt it i think so it'll be like an ocean world so we will add an atmosphere and then make the atmosphere really thick so that it will melt that ice. We're just going to help it out and melt the ice for it. Okay, there's Enceladus now. Um, it's just like a, a water world. So we're going to name it Ocean Enceladus and make sure the temperature is good. And check the habitability on Enceladus now and we got 16.4. So now in the Saturn system, we have Super Saturn, Rhea 2, Encel Ocean Enceladus, and the Green Titan. So this system now has a lot of objects terraformed. So if you want this system that has a ton of objects terraformed, the link's in the description. It's a work in progress. We don't have everything yet, but eventually we are going to terraform everything. So if you want to see more terraforming videos like this, leave a like on the video. Thank you so much for watching and thank you for 9,000 subscribers. We're going to hit 10k soon. Join my Discord server. The link's in the description and I'll see you guys next time.